Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. It has been a little while, I feel like I'm a stuck record at the moment and forever saying that, but I've really been putting off starting this vlog, I've really been putting off picking up my camera. I did mention on my Instagram recently that my head has just been all over the place um, for a little while to be fair and I've not really spoken about it, I've not really spoken about it to anyone. I suppose it just is your reminder to talk to people if you're struggling about anything no matter how big or small talk to someone i promise you a problem shared is a problem halved i don't want to vent to you guys too much because i've always preached about the fact that i want you guys to be able to come to my channel and escape for a bit like if you have anything going on in your life i want you to be able to come here and just forget about it and not worry for the 20 minutes that you are watching my videos so i just did want to mention it to make sure you guys know that everybody is going through something everybody has their own struggles and you are completely normal if you are struggling with something please just speak to someone seek some help whatever that looks like whether it's self-help um if you need to just put yourself first and take care of yourself a little bit more then make time for it because it's so important i always want to say like i don't want to make excuses but it is an excuse as to why i've not been as present on my social media towards the end of this year i feel like i had the most amazing year like 2023 has been insane some of my friends have got married some of my friends have had babies like there's been so much that i'm so grateful for in this year but i feel like the end of it has just really been testing me so i'm just in the mindset where i'm so so ready for a new year like i literally cannot wait for 2024 um just to get into a routine literally start everything from fresh like i really need that like proper reset and i feel like there is nothing better than a whole new year coming in so yeah that's kind of where i'm at at the minute but anyway it is currently the 19th of december i'm so so looking forward to actual christmas day we are going out on christmas eve and stuff with all our friends it is literally one of my favorite times of the year so i hope you guys are looking forward to christmas as well i thought i would just kind of use this video as a bit of an update i will show you guys around the house um, I haven't got too many Christmassy things to show you because we have put our tree up, which I love, but I'm not going to lie, we put it up really late this year, so we've just decided to not decorate it. We have like all our baubles and stuff and we found them all because obviously we've moved into this house, we haven't had a Christmas here yet, but yeah, we were just like, do we bother putting loads of baubles on it and then having to take everything down literally in two weeks? So we have just left it as a tree, which I still like, that like we still get the Christmassy vibe in here. And we've got a wreath on the front door and that is literally it, like very minimal this year. <laughs> but I'm excited for this house to be done and then like next year we will go all out with the Christmas decks. Um, I do have one bauble on the tree actually, which is for my little family dog, Coco. I do have one of these for Bella as well, my mum got us all these so she's got a couple as well and then my brother's got some i need to find the bella one because i did have that last year because if you didn't know already coke's actually passed away after bella who was her sister yeah bella didn't quite make it to christmas i think she passed away in the november and their birthday was actually on christmas eve as well so coco being the absolute trooper that she is made it to another birthday and another christmas so I didn't need that ball ball last year, but I've got it this year. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're all good. Um, I'm sending a lot of love to everyone because when I did put that on my story, I had so many messages of you guys saying that some of you felt the same, like you knew how I was feeling. And I guess it is this time of year sometimes as well. I think with so much going on and like, it's meant to be the happiest time of the year and for some people it's just not. I hope you're all good and looking after yourselves as best as you can. That is my little update for the morning. Um, I need to get on with finalising my Christmas shopping today. I need to wrap a couple more presents. And then Brad has football again this evening. It's currently raining so I'm not sure if I'm going to go. I do like to go because my brother goes as well so we just kind of sit on the sidelines and catch up because he has an injury so he can't play at the minute but i'm gonna see what the weather is saying later and then we actually went to matt and george's last night with every intention of decorating gingerbread houses and we bought them and everything we took them over and then we got way too busy just catching up and chatting and watching the grinch so we didn't actually end up making them we've brought them back with us so i might make them tonight with brad they're literally just like the kits that you decorate but that could be cute so a pretty chill day I'm just at home, but like I say, it means I can show you around the place. 
um, you guys can see what we've been working on. I feel like a lot has changed since you last saw it. I will just bring you along on the day. Just a nice, cosy, homely, chatty vlog. So I've just come upstairs to get myself ready for the day. I have some content that I need to film. But I thought I would talk you through a couple of new products that I've recently implemented into my kind of getting ready routine. These are all from UK Lash, who are very kindly sponsoring this section of today's vlog. I'm sure you guys have seen these absolutely everywhere. And the main product that I was always saying is the Lash Serum. This stuff works, like the hype is there for a reason. I haven't actually been religiously applying this. I've used it for like three weeks now, I wanna say, and I've still seen the most insane results. So when I do remember, I pop this on in the morning before I kind of do anything else and my lashes have grown so much, which you will see once I've obviously got my makeup on and my mascara and everything, but it's super easy to apply, obviously. It's literally just a tiny little wand and you just pop it on your lash line. So I highly recommend checking this out. And then I've also been loving these, which are the Hydrogel eye patches. And I just feel like these are super like luxurious. They're such a nice way to treat yourself, especially in the morning again, um, when you're feeling a little bit puffy, like a little bit dehydrated, especially under the eyes, you can just pop these on. I'm just gonna leave them to sit while I sort everything else out. These are super nice for, like I say, rehydrating, depuffing, especially in the morning, or if you wanna have a bit of a self-care evening, then grab yourself some of these. They honestly feel incredible on. But then I've also been testing out their mascara, which I will use today. So again, you will see once I have all my makeup on, but this is the UK Lash Lengthening Mascara and Again, a 10 out of 10 product. I really like the wand on this. It's like a silicone kind of wand. And I find it really, really helps to separate your lashes and it's not comfy at all. But to separate my lashes even more, I also take this little tool here, which you literally just like comb through your lashes once you've got your mascara on. And again, it just separates them perfectly. It's so easy to use. Um, I kind of swear by this now. I feel like it literally doubles the amount of lashes you have once you use it. This micellar water has been in my routine. This is kind of specified for lashes and brows which i've really enjoyed because i feel like your brows and your lashes are sometimes quite hard to fully cleanse like obviously when you've got mascara on and like in my brows I always have a pencil and an eyebrow gel i love i can use this the kind of like press a cotton pad on here and then really get into cleansing my lashes and brows so another product that i'm loving so that is everything that uk lash very kindly sent over i'm obsessed with the brand so obsessed with this product the lash serum if there's anything you do want to try then i would highly highly recommend this so yeah a huge thank you to those guys for sponsoring this section of the video i will of course link everything i've just shown you down below in the description if you do want to get your hands on anything i will also leave my discount code on screen so you can save yourself a bit of money but i am now going to get a little bit of filming done that i need to sort for a brand but i just wanted to chat to you guys about my new love for my lashes <laughs> also how freaking cute is this I got this in a Claire's PR parcel and there was so much stuff in there and I actually gave it to one of my friends um little cousins I just knew that they would love everything in that box like it was all Christmassy stuff like bows for your hair and headbands and stuff but this is one thing I did keep because I'm loving this bow trend at the moment I'm thinking of styling this for Christmas day real is filmed and I just remembered that I had a mini scissors and seekers haul to show you guys it has been so long since I've done a haul from them i have shopped from them this whole time but i haven't showed you guys in a vlog what i've picked up from them in a while so i ordered some things this top actually being one of them to be fair it's just like a long sleeved cotton top it is so so nice and stretchy like it's very comfortable to wear just super cozy really handy for this time of year and for like layering and stuff they also had these in every color they had like black white just a really good basic to have but then obviously they are known for their sweats and they have some great stuff in at the moment i think as i'm filming this they've literally just dropped another collection which is all like really cute knits i just picked up some of the staple hoodies i just find that they wash really well as well a little while ago i mentioned the adenola hoodies and how they just shrink and like everyone says the same thing but i actually saw recently that i think they now make them out of a different material so i think they wash a lot better now i haven't tried it myself but i'm gonna purchase another adenola hoodie and tracksuit and see how they wash um but i've never had that issue with sisters and seekers at all like they just literally come out of the wash as if they're brand new minus the oil stain that i got on it the first time i wore it at wagamama's literally two seconds into my meal this is the first hoodie that i grabbed it just has the little detail on the back nice and plain and simple super cozy 
love that and then i had this hoodie for so long when it first ever came out i think i was one of the ones to get the first drop which was near enough impossible but the yoga hoodie this has come back into stock so many times i honestly would love to know how many of these they've actually sold because it must be literally hundreds of thousands at this point um but they did restock it in their last kind of drop and i picked up another one because my one of these has been stained and ruined i don't even know how i thought i'd treat myself to a new one because i did get so much wear out of this by the way if you're wondering i tend to get my hoodies in an xl from sisters and seekers i did get this one in an xxl and it is super oversized so just depends on your personal fit that you want like i always say um but yeah, cannot go wrong with a good old yoga hoodie. And then I did only pick up one matching set, which I do love. I have already worn this as well. Um, but I just wish I got the joggers in an XL. I did get them in a large and they fit nicely because obviously they have the drawstring waist so you can pull yourself back in. But I prefer to pull things up a little bit. So it does make them a tiny bit too short on me. I am five foot six for reference. So if you want to up a size for the length and then just draw yourself back in, you can do that. Um, but they are like a wide leg jogger, which I really, really like. And then they come with the SKR jeans or SKRS uh, jeans hoodie. Again, I got this in an XL. It doesn't have anything on the back. It's just plain. So that is my mini haul from Sisters and Seekers. Oh, I did also get a blazer, which I haven't actually opened yet. Um, I think I might star this for Christmas Day. I really feel like getting dressed up this year. I don't know why. Usually I spend my entire Christmas Day in my pyjamas. And then if I get new pyjamas for Christmas, I'll change into them. And that is like the most I'm getting dressed that day. I really like the look of this blazer. It's just like a super, super boxy fit. I got this in a medium. Why did I get a medium? I think because it looks super oversized on the model, I didn't want it to actually be too big. But I'm now looking at this thinking, I probably could have done with a large. Oh, I mean, actually it's literally perfect. Sorry, you guys can barely see anything also <laughs> my christmas pajamas these are from pretty little thing they very kindly sent them to me in a little christmas eve box which i'll show you when i go back downstairs because it's actually really cute but yeah that is the blazer i'm actually not mad at it i feel like it's a really nice length as well it's not too long on me i just thought it was like a typical like this is a dad blazer like i'm off to the office it's also really nice and soft as well like it's not structured at all it's really like movable feels really free which is nice that is my mini haul for this vlog i used to always like vlog and then do a mini haul it would either be like a little zara haul or a homeware haul or a sister and seekers haul most of the time it is now half 12 i'm gonna head downstairs and make myself some lunch and then i promise after that i will show you guys all of the house updates brad is currently in what is going to be our bedroom and he is taking the wallpaper off the walls in there which is the job that i do not envy at all i did it in the last house and it was just never again do i want to see a wallpaper steamer that is like the next room that we kind of want to get done because we have some guests coming over in january and they're gonna stay so we kind of want both bedrooms done good morning it is actually now the next day um i just kind of got stuck into work yesterday and completely forgot to pick the camera back up so I thought I would pick you up again this morning and show you the house updates. If you watched the last vlog that I posted, I will link it down below if you wanna go and catch up. But um, I think Brad was just working on the porch and we had literally only just finished this room, but there was still quite a lot of like stuff in here. And I mean, we still don't have like our dream sofa and stuff in here yet, but we've made it work and it's a lot more organized than it was when I first showed you. And then I'll take you upstairs and Brad can talk you through what he's doing in what will be our bedroom. But last night I just went to watch the boys play football and then we had some dinner when we got in and then went straight to bed. So you didn't miss much. I've just grabbed myself a cup of tea. I'm in my Primark pajamas. I'm not gonna lie, I am gonna have a pajama day because I have so much work to catch up on. I just need to like edit the final bits before everyone kind of breaks up for Christmas. We do then have Brad's family coming for dinner this evening, which would be super nice. Anyway, let me stop rambling and I will show you around the porchway first. I'll show you from the front door and then we'll come in here and I'll give you a little tour of the lounge. So this is what the area now looks like. We have this Zara mirror on the wall just hung up there and then I need to find a place for this lamp. Also, Brad is obviously working upstairs so excuse any bangs that you hear um and then he built this storage bench under here so if i move the lamp this actually lifts up 
and then we have a nice little storage bench in there which has the flooring carried on through we are yet to use this we've kind of built all these storage areas and we haven't actually used them yet so i need to put some bits in there but yeah that is what this area now looks like we obviously slatted the back wall as well I think it's just a really nice little entrance way. Very simple, but we wanted to make sure we use this space for storage as well. This is the flooring that we have, which is from a company called IDS. I will get Brad to tell me exactly what like colour and brand this is, so I can link it in the description because it is so nice. I'm literally so happy with it. It's like the perfect kind of natural oak style but obviously it's not solid wood and they literally just clip together like brad has fit this whole thing himself and he is not a carpenter all of the skirting boards as well are from um skirting world as i'm sure you may have guessed those guys have helped us out with all the skirting boards pretty much in this house and all the moldings um for like all of our paneling that we've done as well which is fab and then coming through into what is like the entrance way this way we have obviously our light switches that we've changed from like the simple white ones i can't remember where these are from but i'm pretty sure when i last checked the website has like literally disappeared so i'm not really sure what that's about but they're just like some brushed brass ones or like brushed gold um which you can find pretty much anywhere so that is the light switches and then this is now what you see as you come through here so for a while this was obviously just like a blank space if you are new here we did build a wall here to separate this room because it was originally just a big open lounge with a door at the end there and a door here i think yeah it had a door here and then a window across here to let some light through but there is a window in the lounge and we would rather have had some storage in the hallway and this was like the best idea we could come up with so we built the wall and then these are all ikea pax wardrobes i think i've shown you guys these i'm not sure if i've shown you them finished but brad has just paneled the doors um to kind of tie it in with the rest of the room and then these little handles are from h&m home i bought them literally ages ago but yeah they are now the built-in wardrobes, obviously the clothing is on, um, Brad has like boxed them in completely so they look pretty seamless and I'm very, very happy with those. And then this side we have the finished wallpaper. Um, we actually get a lot of questions on this wallpaper which I'm happy about because we spent ages deciding what we wanted because we wanted something like that had a pattern to it but wasn't too obvious. And I do feel like at a distance it kind of looks... A little bit like lime wash i know i've mentioned that before but i feel like it just makes this wall look a bit textured rather than it being like a full-on pattern but it is like a line kind of design of like petals i would say i'm not exactly sure how to describe it but again brad put this up and he has done a great job so coming back here i feel like you can see it a lot better from this angle but we have some little lights that we got from dunelm that is this area we've obviously got the paneling on the wall which i think you guys have seen before and then we come through into the lounge this is what the lounge is looking like obviously we have the tree up for now um we just have all of our old furniture in here from where we've lived before the only new thing we have is this tv unit which we are yet to um kind of revamp we want to panel the front of it we've also got some feet to pop on here from my pretty pegs and also some little handles that they very kindly sent over to us so that's going to be a project i think for early in the new year so that is pretty much the only new thing that we have like this table we've had for ages it was once brad's mom and dad's um i bought this in the old house this is from the old house like literally everything we have the kind of media wall here so i explained in I think a couple of vlogs ago when we first started in this room we wanted to make a feature wall with the tv but we didn't want it to be too busy like i didn't want a load of shelves going on and just any aspects that we could then kind of clutter so we opted to just panel the back wall and then brad actually cut out a massive mdf board to put the tv on and then we do have led lights that sit behind this so this kind of like is lit up in the evenings when the tv's turned on i think he just got them from amazon they're just like the usb ones that you can plug straight into the back of the tv um so yeah that is the setup of the tv surround and this is all obviously completely finished in here we've got the door hung um and that is it for the lounge i'm trying to think if there's anything that i've not really shown you guys in here but i feel like that is everything you may not have 
seen yet this is the christmas eve box that i was telling you about by the way the pretty little thing very kindly sent over to me i couldn't resist <laughs> so i've got a card that just says like thank you for working with us this year and then a stanley cup dupe and that is the pajama top and i've got like a notepad and a giant chocolate coin and then a hair scrunchie which is super cute so thanks for a little thing for that i've just popped her under the tree for now this is a card from our neighbours which is so sweet of them. Forgot to say as well we obviously had the lounge carpeted in the same carpet that we've got upstairs in the bedroom and the wardrobe room and it's such a nice like proper thick carpet and I'm obsessed but trying to keep this clean is a little bit of a nightmare um, we need to get a hoover. This is such boring adult talk, but if you have carpets like this, you basically need a hoover with a roller on it so it can kind of fluff them up as you hoover it, which we don't have. We just have a Henry that has been hoovering up old plaster and things, so it's just not the best at the minute. We need to take better care of this, but that's what the carpet looks like. And I think it looks so nice with the flooring out there as well. Obviously, excuse the lack of skirting boards, but this is, I guess, another view of what the flooring looks like and that will be carried through all the way into what will then be the kitchen diner. So I'm now in what is currently the kitchen. Um, I think I've spoken to you guys about the plans that we now have for this house. We were gonna extend and we know I'm not gonna do that because just money wise, it just doesn't make sense. Like it's a big investment at the minute. Everything costs so much more than it once did. So we are just leaving it as it is and we're gonna knock out the wall that's behind you guys. I have explained this in a past vlog. Um, and just make this like a bigger kitchen space. But very excitingly, we have ordered our kitchen. We went for a Howden's kitchen and we did look around like B&Q, Ikea. Um, we went to Wix as well and we got a price from like basically everywhere. And Howden's just always seems to be the best. You do need to order through a builder, like it is just trade accounts only, but it is worth it. Yeah, we've ordered the Howden's kitchen. I've essentially gone for like everything white with some like light oak, wall unit so hopefully it will tie on the floor a bit but i was kind of going for a bit of a scandy vibe i'll pop some pictures on screen so you guys can see what i was kind of looking for but i'm really excited for it to arrive and just to see if it all works together because as much as i see all of these kitchens on pinterest and stuff anytime you walk into showrooms nowhere really has that vibe going on so kitchen is sorted and i'm excited for that to arrive in the new year because this I mean, as much as I've tried to make it look cute, it's not cute. It is not a vibe, this kitchen, at all. Um, it's so annoying to try and cook in if there's more than one of you trying to cook. I will take you upstairs now and hand you over to Brad so he can tell you what he's been doing in the bedroom and show you around. Hi, guys. I have the responsibility of showing you what has happened or happening in the bedroom. Stripped all the wallpaper off of... Um, the walls there's been a few times where it would have been quite nice to just knock the plaster off the walls completely but because they're all stud it makes it really difficult to work out whether to um to do it or not I managed it persistence is key i guess and the walls are all right to be fair which is good so i have been sanding down for the last two days all the imperfections filling them ready for painting um so i've just put a mist coat on the ceiling we want a nice smooth finish with the paint that we've got from rustoleum but otherwise i've taken the radiator off i've put new valves on i've also painted the radiator which you'll see here it used to be this magnolia horrible white it is now the brilliant white from rust-oleum it's actually this paint here if anyone wants to know what it is radiator paint doesn't need any primer just needs a good sand good clean and two coats of it but otherwise the progress is going well i'm hoping to get the rust-oleum paint on today which we've gone for a short bread which is quite light but because we get a lot of light here in the morning anyway, um, it would be nice to actually make the room quite bright anyway. Um, because we also have a massive contrast in colour with a feature headboard that we have, which is this Charles and Ivy stuff. The company that do multiple things, but in my eyes, their speciality is their slat wall stuff um, and their panelling. They also have like composite fences, composite um, gates. My favourite is that they have slat walls and they have them in different heights as well. Either can be full wall or what we've gone for, a uh, half height. We're going to go for the full span of the room and have a piece of beading um, that's supplied by them as well with an LED light in it to provide a light rather than bedside tables. Let me show you the product and then you can see 
what you think of it. As you can see, I've already done the structure for the wall. So you'll see here, that's the height of the half wall Charles and Ivy slats. And they go from the bottom of the floor, which the carpet will tuck underneath, for the headboard to go from that side all the way into the corner there. And then we'll have beading that will just sit on top of here. Um, with an LED light shining down. So yeah, this will all be hidden, um, all the structure. We also have a plug here. It's a single plug that will be converted into two sockets either side of the bed. Because we've got quite a big bed, you'll see here it's marked there. We've got Super King. So we've got to rewire that and put it there. And then we've also got to cut it out of the slat wall because uh, we want the plugs to be able to show on the outside as well. So a little bit more carpentry work to do on that. But otherwise, I'm gonna paint in here first before we do any of this because it only requires a couple of screws. So you'll see here, this is felt behind here. Some people use uh, no nails um, to stick it to board, but because we're not putting board up, we're literally just gonna put a couple of screws in here along where the structure is to hold it up. That is pretty much most of the room so far. I have put a bit of skirting down because when I put the radiator on, I don't really want to get stuck with putting two halves down. So I've done a full length of skirting, which I know is behind here, but full length of skirting all the way up to where the slat wall is. So that's all done. Got these from Skirting World, which we've used throughout the house. They're brilliant to use, really easy. I think we also have a discount code for these as well, if anyone wants to use it. That's it for now for me. Hopefully by the end of this week, you'll see some progress on our Instagram page and our stories. We should have the final coat being applied and all the slat walls being fitted, ready for what will be potentially some carpet and the bed. Peace out. <laughs>